Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is May 3rd, 2019. This is my first episode about the future of the C++ programming, C++ 2A standard. Whenever I make up my mind to make a cool video, then I fail to make a single video. But when I make up my mind, okay, I will create a simple video, then I can create a cool video. Today, I will create a simple video. In this episode, we will learn how to use periodics, more specifically periodic templates and periodic macros, and we will learn debugging technique. We will create debug exception class by inheriting std exception class, and we will also learn how to override virtual function correctly in modern C++ programming. This episode continues from my previous episode. If you haven't watched my previous episode, by clicking this link, you can watch my previous video. Because this video is based on my previous videos, you probably have to watch my previous videos to follow this session. Okay, let's get started. Start your Visual Studio Code, CPP extension folder, in the tutorial folder, click this button, 004 debugging cpp include talk play fun output hpp talk play fun ss stream stream note that ss stream is a std or string stream based stream class. That means we have to flush to print out the result. Otherwise, we cannot see anything. Don't forget flushing out. Talk play fun, auto, nl, talk play fun, nl. New line without flushing for performance reason. What to use the stream as string or plush talk play pun plush plush out the stream to console without trailing new line or and there talk play pun and there plush out the stream with a trailing new line template type name type type increment type arg return arg plus 1 or we can say type offset not that arg and offset are template parameter but they are not template parameter pack void example for template parameter pack expansion template type name type type name typus type arg typus args we want to expand these template parameters args is a template parameter pack. We will learn how to expand these template parameter pack. Some of my audience are part advanced C++ programmer and some are intermediate level, some are beginners level. So in this episode, I want to help you have concrete understanding about template parameter pack, how to expand template parameters. Auto v1 std vector 
we will use the first type like this then we provide we initialize like this arg args okay we expand the template parameter pack arg or v2 std vector type arg no we will use this increment like this increment we provide arg and offset offset i will set one we are calling this function this function this is not parameter pack then here increment ARGS1 please note that in this case increment function ARG is not parameter pack but we are passing parameter pack here so we can't do this this is syntax error because this function does not take periodics it takes just a single argument so we can't do this instead we have to put ellipsis here. This is to expansion. Okay? Like this. Now let's think about this. Oro V3 STD vector type. We are now using type cast like this. Static cast type here. We provide ARG like this, then static cast type. Okay, we will use this type. Then here, ARGS. This is a syntax error. This is a syntax error. Why this is a syntax error? Because this function, this type cast takes only one parameter as, the, as in increment case, we can't do this. We have to do like this, okay? Because this type cast takes only one parameter, but we have to expand like this. I will modify this function. I will modify this function to make it more concrete. Then one then here is not a template parameter okay i modified like this in this case arg arg gs because this increment function takes one argument not template parameter we cannot put expansion here Okay, this is a syntax error. Instead, we have to put here. Okay, I hope you understand this concept. Now we print out stream v1 v1 and then we give carriage return but we do not print out stream v2 v2 and l stream v3 v3 if we do this we cannot see the result okay int main now we call this function I copied pasted here 0 1 2 3 4 5 like this we are calling this function we will test this function first start your command prompt then we will be using clang compiler clang plus plus std 
C++ 17 or above. I will use 17. 004 debugging CPP. Okay. We see nothing because we haven't flushed. Then we can say end there. It means flush with a trailing new line. Okay, now with this, we can now see the result like this perfectly. Now let's try think about one thing more here. Oro V5 SDD vector type. Now we are concatenating increment like this. Increment static cast type ARG increment static cast type ARG should we put so should we put ARGS should we put trailing expansion here ellipsis here no because this typecast static typecast takes one argument we can't do this okay now let's think about this should we put here no this forms one argument. This is one argument. Increment takes one argument, not parameter pack. No. Okay. Now, we have to put it here. This is expansion. Okay. I will make some space here to make it clear. Okay. We have to put ellipses here. Now, I will put another thing. We don't need to flush and air. Okay. Then stream V4 V4. Then and there. Or we can say NL, NL, then flush. This is the same. Okay. Now let's run once again. So this works perfectly okay before please understand how the parameter packs are expanded like this because this static cast takes one parameter we have to provide the parameter pack here we can't do this okay now let's think about this template type name type Type name, typus, void, print out, parameter, packs, type, ALG, typus, ALGS, if, size of typus equal 0 else please note that this is equivalent okay size of typus is equivalent to size of ALGS okay now here since this parameter pack count ALG count is zero we can just print out stream ALG like this we just print out now here The count of the parameter pack 
ARGS is greater is not zero. So we first print out stream ARG then we call this function recursively ARGS since this function takes one or more arguments and this parameter pack ARGS is not zero, it means it is one or more. Because this function takes one or more parameters, this function can take one or more parameters. At this point, the count of ARGS is not zero, means it has one or more parameters. So we expand like this. Like this. Please compare this syntax with this syntax. Okay? With this syntax. In case of function increment, it takes just single argument. It is not parameter pack. So we have to put parameter pack expansion here after this function. In this case, this function takes one or more parameter packs, parameters, so it is valid. Okay? Please compare this syntax with this syntax. Why? Because it can take only one parameter and it can take one or more parameter. Or it is not parameter pack, but in this case it can take parameter pack because it can take one or more arguments. So it is valid syntax. We should not do this. It can fail. Instead, we have to do this. When parameter pack is zero, then we can put it here and the line here. Okay? When it has one or more, then we print out the first parameter, then we put delimiter here, then we call this function. Copy and paste. I disable it. Then here, one, I will say zero, one, two, three, four, five, like this. This function does not work. I will build first, then I will explain. Using clan compiler, it does not work. The message is no matching function for call print out parameter pack. In this case, we have to provide one more function. I copied and pasted it here like this. Then stream. ARG and there. We should do this. Now it works. Okay, now it works. Let's try with GNU compiler. Uh, we used with GNU compiler. Let's use Clang. Clang also works. So this is redundant. This code is redundant. So I will copy this, I will call this function, because this is redundant, ARG. Should it work? We are calling this function, should it work? Let's see. With the clan compiler, yes, it works. GNU also work. I am doing this because I do not want to create multiple functions. If we copy this part, copied, I copied and pasted it here. Will it work? Let's try it. 
with GNU compiler? No, it doesn't. With Clang compiler? No, it doesn't. With Microsoft compiler? EHSC? SDD? C++ 17? 004? Debugging? CPP? FE? AEXE? Wow, Microsoft compiler works successfully. In case of Microsoft compiler, it works successfully. In case of Clang, it doesn't. In case of GNU, it doesn't. In case of Microsoft, it works. Okay? In case of Microsoft, they are not much standard component. Okay, we have to put it here. The reason because when this function sees one parameter, one parameter function should be defined before this function call. This function should be defined before this function call. That's C++ standard. So GNU and Clang strictly follows C++ standard. GNU, C++, Clang strictly follows C++ standard specifications. In case of Microsoft compiler, it has more relaxed syntax. In a nutshell, try to follow standard specification for maximum compatibility as well as correct behavior of your compiler. In some case, we need to define this single parameter function behind the parameter pack function. In such case, I will copy this part and paste behind the function parameter pack function then we can declare it this is declaration now this is now forward declaration of template function the body of this function is here you can put more code in this section, put more code in this section, then you define one parameter function like this. Then it should work. With a Clang compiler, it works perfectly as expected. So to define this function, it's a lot verbose and the syntax is pretty ugly. To address this problem, C++ standard committee introduced if context peer. To address this ugly syntax regarding to template parameter pack expansion, C++ standard committee introduced if context peer construct as below. Now I copy this function. No, I will just call the from scratch. Template, type name, type, type name, types. Void, example, over, if, context, peer. Type, ARG, types, ARGS. Now we are using if, context peer size over in this case we use the type we can use ARGS2 like this is zero if context peer takes constant expression sadly the term constant expression is misnomer it should be better called 
compile time expression. Now in this block, this if context peer block, else in this block, the parameter pack ARGS has zero elements. Stream ARG and there. In this block, the count of the parameter pack ARGs is one or more. Stream ARG. Now we call this function const text peer. I copy this function, paste it here. We are calling it recursively ARGS. Now let's build this function. Now let's call this function zero, one, two, three, four, five, like this. Okay, now let's build with the clang. It works perfectly with the GNU compiler. It should also work perfectly with the Microsoft compiler. It should also work. Please note that if context here was introduced to C++ 17 standard. Okay. So we used C++ 17 standard in all case. Now I will copy it once again to help you better understand parameter expansion with parameter with pack expansion. Okay. I will copy this function name. It is still recursion. Now I will disable, I will delete this part because it's too ugly. Okay, this function is exactly the same with this function, but I will create a function here. Template, type name, type, type, scale me, type ARG, return ARG times ARG. Okay, now we call this function like this. Here, we scale this function call, okay? In single argument case. In this case, scale me, okay? Then we can call this function. Zero, one, two, three, four, four, five. I will disable it. I will test with it. clang. Okay, it works perfectly. Now we know how to expand the parameter pack like this. We can recycle this function. Instead of creating separate function like this, we can recycle this function. I will copy this function header. Copy and paste it here. And I will change example of context view with the parameter pack. I will say just example of parameter pack expansion. In this function, we can simply call this function. Okay, I copied and pasted it here. Increment, no. Scale me ARG. Now here we call scale me ARGS. Please note that this scale me function takes one argument. This is not parameter pack. And this function, example if this function takes parameter pack. So, this is wrong because this function scale me takes one parameter. So, we have to do this like this, okay? 
Now I copy this function here. I will copy this function once again. Then I copy this function name. Then if these two functions should give the same exact result like this. GNU compiler, yes, they are giving exactly the same result. Both this function and this function gives exactly the same result. Also try with clan compiler. Clan compiler should also work. Okay, exactly the same result. Now let's move on to pulled expression. Pulled expression was introduced to C++ 17 standard. It can be sometimes very handy when working with parameter hex. Template, type name type, type name typus. Type, divide, using, pulled expression. Type, first, types, ARGS. In some future sessions, I may film about this video again using forwarding reference. To simplify this session and help you better understand parameter pack expansion, I haven't used forwarding reference. Return, for the expression should be enclosed with parentheses as below. This parentheses is compulsory, okay? Now the first argument, this is the first argument here. Now operator, division operator, Parameter pack expansion, parameter pack. Okay, please remember this syntax. It is calculated like this. First is divided by next ARG, then is divided by and then next. Next, next ARG. Then divided by next, next, next ARG in this fashion where ARG is an element in ARGS. I hope you understand this configuration. Now we can test this function first. For the Example, pulled expression. Now we call this function like this. I copied this function. We provide 2 times 3 times 5. We first divided with 2, then we divide with 3. So the result, or RLT, So it, it will be computed like this. 2 times 3 times 5 is divided by 2. Then the result is divided by 3. Okay? So this value is returned. It will be 5. Now we print out stream. I will copy this text. Copy. Paste it here. RLT. And there. Now I call this function. And paste it here. I disable this part like this. Now let's build. We expect the value 5. 
Okay, we got the value of 5. I hope you understand how this fold expression is expanded. Now let's think about this. For the example with pack expansion using fold expression. Now this time we call this function we call this function like this. Scare me. No, no, no. I will create another function here. I will copy this function and paste it here. Paste it here with pack expansion. Now this time we call scale me. Scale me this function like this. Scale me. And let's think about this part. This is already expansion. It means expansion. So we can do like this. Scale me. Like this. I fixed like this. Because this me already this already means expansion. We do not provide ellipsis here. It's wrong. It's a syntax error. Also, we do not provide ellipsis here. Because it already means pack expansion of ARGS. Okay? Now, I copy this and pasted it here. Now we are calling this function, then this is squared, okay? Then in this case, this is squared, and this is squared, and this is squared, like this. Two, two, and this is also squared, like this. So we expect five squared. We expect this value. I will copy this part, paste it here, this is correct, this is correct, this is correct. Okay, let's see what happened. I copy this function and paste it here. I disable it. Now we expect 25. I am using clan compiler. Voila, the result is 25. With GNU compiler, the result should be 25. So I hope you understand how to use pack expansion in case of fold expression. We actually don't need to create this function at all. We can just recycle this function, this fold expression. I copied and pasted it here. We just disable this. And I disable this part. Divide fold expression. Then I can just call this function. We can just call this function like this. I copied and paste it here. Scare me. First, scare me. ARGS. Please note that scale me function takes one parameter, not parameter pack. Then we have to provide ellipsis here. We have to expand this way. Because divided using fold expression, this function takes parameter pack. So we have to expand at this level, not inside. This is syntax error. Okay, this is a syntax error. If you do this, you are not understanding pack expansion correctly. You have to do this. 
because this function takes one parameter and this function takes parameter pair. So with this, the result is the same. I copied and pasted like this. I will modify like this void stream result. I change it like this. Then here we have to plush and there and it does not return anything so void and we have to call we have to pass this expression the same expression copy and paste it here okay this is squared this is we are calling indirectly so these two should give the same result with the clan compiler okay gives the same result because this parameter is scaled like this now let's think about periodic macro periodic macro was first introduced to C++ 11 standard. So if you have not paid much attention to how C++ language is evolving, you may not heard of periodic macros. It is very simple. Define square fold expression first. Now we provide ellipsis here. Then I will call this function like this first then to underscore b a a r g s to underscore don't put semicolon here do not put semicolon at the end of macro definition okay we can call this function like this this is parading macro sorry i will copy this like this then i paste this part copy like this i highly advise you to make very ugly name very ugly name okay always make very ugly name for macros to prevent any possible name clashes I will try with clan compiler first. Okay, it works successfully. This is from this macro. This macro function actually calls this function. This macro function actually calls this function, the same function. So the result should be exactly the same. Now with GNU compiler, GNU compiler also supports periodic macro. And Microsoft compiler also supports periodic macro f e a e x e okay all three compilers support periodic macros finally let's double check with the intel compiler icl EHSC, SDD, C17, 004, Debugging, CPP, FE, AEXE. Okay, Intel compiler also supports all features we dealt in this session. I originally wanted to deal with the debug exception class by inheriting SDD exception class and deal with debugging technique but this session become too long in my next episode i will create debug exception class and i will also show you how to override the virtual function correctly in modern c programming before i close this session i want to change the file name for next session i will change it preliminary 
I will modify the file name preliminary debugging CPP. This is for my next episode. Please note that I upgrade and update my C++ extension library. So whenever you watch my video, you probably have to download new build, new C++ extension library. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.